Hello, welcome back. I'm gonna do my standard sharing. Love in action. Sharing is love in action. Look at that. Sending that, gonna send it to one telegram and then I'll send the rest from the compi. There we go, okay. Hello, oh my gosh, I haven't seen you in forever, 17 Child Pro. Hello, Love and, love and Action Network. I don't know, I, I was gonna call you Loved and Lovable. I'm gonna pin that comment, thank you. Lovedandlovable.org. Okay, I've shared, I'm working on getting all my life together here. My life, and then I'll do opening. Hello, Andre and the Flow. Let me know how y'all are today. We the Urban, that's where we're going today. Okay, hello, welcome back. This is Daily Boost. I'm Tara Priolo. I'm your resident white-facing biracial multi-passionate musician, and I talk about the ish that nobody wants to talk about and push you to do the same. I'm running Love and Action's Daily Boost today, which is a daily offering where Dr. Flow and I go live, um, and we talk about chakras, provided by the seven day pillar challenge by our other practitioner, Poppy Wata 33. You can hear more from him on Sundays uh, during waiting to exhale. And uh, let's see, what else do I need to tell you? Uh, Love and Action Network is a uh, mental health peer support organization where we provide tools for you to heal. You don't have to take the tools and you don't have to use the tools, but we hope you heal somewhere. And you heal enough to put your love in action. Our CEO is Dr. Flo, who's in the chat, at Andre and the Flo on all platforms. And you can join him in the Daily Boost for free 99. You can also join the Academy. You can join People's Cabaret. All of these things are coming to the website. Um, these people. Um, <laughs> lovedandlovable.org, lovedandlovable.org. These people, scroll back a few episodes, find the crazy people make us crazy. It was like four weeks ago. Find that. Crazy people make us crazy. Crazy people make us crazy. All right. Thank you for telling me that I look amazing. You look amazing as well. Um, let me find my hui, hui the urban post. That was 48 weeks ago. That's not the right one. Okay. I think this is the right one. Let me check. Okay, yes. I do believe, yes, this is it. Okay, the affirmation of the day in this post is, I release, I let go, I let flow. And the little, uh, the slides, here we go, the slides. Did I say this is from We The Urban? That's an account on Instagram. Uh, unfollowing does not mean beef. Limited access does not mean beef. Boundaries do not mean beef. Growing apart does not mean beef. Periods of solitude do not mean beef. Separate paths do not mean beef. We are not entitled to anyone's energy. Everyone is not mad at you, love. Scroll back, y'all. Rewind it 30 seconds. Listen to it again until you get it. Next slide. Sending love to those who constantly show up for others, but often stand alone in their own times of need. How many people have felt that? How many people? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. You are seen. Your needs matter. And remember, it's more than okay to ask for the comfort and support you so freely give you so freely give it's more than okay to ask for the comfort and support you so freely give next slide so grateful for music and its ability to heal uh and its ability to heal me when i'm sad this is one of those repeating posts that you've seen dr flo do but it's on we the urban beautiful things are on their way to you Beautiful things are on their way to you. Beautiful things are on their way to you. Beautiful things are on their way to me. Beautiful things are on their way to me. Beautiful things are on their way to me. Next slide. Not sure who needs to hear this, but go ahead. Be brave. Post it. We want to see. 
We want to support and get inspired by your creativity. Your effort deserves recognition. I'm going to read that one again because there's a lot of people under the sound of my voice now or later that need to know that even if you don't get the instant gratification, that gratification is coming. Not sure who needs to hear this, but go ahead, be brave, post it, push the damn button. We want to see, we want to support and get inspired by your creativity. Your effort deserves recognition. Next slide. Say it with me. I'm grateful for all that has come and thankful for all that has left. Whatever had to go was not mine. One more time. One more time. Say it with me. I'm grateful for all that has come and thankful for all that has left. Whatever had to go was not mine. Next slide. Be intentional. Do your spiritual work. Nourish your body. Be mindful of your vices. Prioritize intentional quiet time. Allow yourself to think. Build a routine. Delete useless apps. Unfollow, block, and or mute. Go to therapy. Be encouraged. Have a beautiful week. Next slide. Feeling emotionally safe with someone is so important. Oh, this is a big one. Hold on, this is the next slide. This is a big one. Y'all listen up. Put your listening ears on. If you've heard nothing else, listen to this. Don't give up on the person you want to become. Don't give up on the person you want to become. Mm. That's a good one today. Last slide. Not sure who needs to hear this, but you cannot spend another year living in fear. Fear of failure, fear of success, fear of judgment, fear of the unknown. Let that shit fall away. Be encouraged to pop out. You are not made to shrink. One more time. Not sure who needs to hear this, but you cannot spend another year living in fear. Fear of failure, fear of success, fear of judgment, fear of the unknown. Let that shit fall away. Be encouraged to pop out. You are not made to shrink. You, you are not made to shrink. All right, we're moving quick. Baby's waking up. Got to find the folder. Daily boost. Let that shit go. Where's the folder? There it is. Chakra. Today is Wednesday. Heart Chakra Day. The affirmation of today is I love. The color of today is green. If you want to know more about the chakras, scroll back to our last 100 episodes. Find a Wednesday. And you'll find all the facts that we have from Poppy Wata 33, as I said earlier. Okay. And there will be a, something coming soon to the website very soon for you to follow along with as we talk about the chakras. But for now, Dr. Flo and I have switched to asking some reflection questions um, about each chakra. So I'm excited. This is my first day back on heart chakra in a while. And so these are this is my first time going through these questions. So reflecting on the heart chakra, also known as Anahata in Sanskrit. I listen, I feel like I said that convincingly. The PDF is in the field. It's in the field. Can help you cultivate compassion, love, and emotional balance. Here are some questions to guide your introspection. Introspection, not outrospection. Introspection. Nailed it. Thanks. I thought so. I nailed it. Okay. I'm going to scroll until I find, oh, da, 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 da. Mm, I'm feeling the love for others section. How do I express love and compassion towards others? Am I able to forgive those who have hurt me? If not, what is holding me back? Hello, Dave Frank Jazz. How are you today? Do I feel worthy of receiving love from others. I'm going to ask these one more time. How do I express love and compassion towards others? Am I able to forgive those who have hurt me? If not, what is holding me back? 
Do I feel worthy of receiving love from others? I want to talk about the second question. Am I able to forgive those who have hurt me? If not, what is holding me back? And we talk about this often. We talk about the reconciliation process at, that we've learned from AMB uh, that we went through without actually knowing it. Uh, Dr. Flo and I went through. And I want to talk about how much forgiveness plays into, hello, Kelsey, um, how much forgiveness plays into our lives in terms of DEI work, in terms of being in community with one another, in terms of we are just that good. We are just that good. I got the cue. I'm giving to them. More than enough. Okay, we're going to get banned from YouTube if I keep saying it. Anyway, um, so uh, forgiveness. We must learn to forgive and we must learn to forgive ourselves and we must learn to forgive others, which is what this is asking. Am I able for, to forgive those who hurt me? Um, Dr. Flo hurt me. He did. Lots of people have hurt me. And as I have grown over the last 10 years, In my life, I have had to learn to forgive those who have very deeply hurt me, right? Um, and I am able to now. I remember uh, in December of 2022, when I put my gone sign in the yard and said, that's enough, I'm not a punching bag. This is ridiculous. Hopefully he'll come to his senses. I remember a few weeks later, arguing with my therapist uh, and saying that, even though I had painted Dr. Flo in this light, and even though Dr. Flo had done these things to me and hurt me, that I forgave him and I wrapped him in love and that there was always an olive branch. Right? Um, the same is true with some other people in my life, right? Like I am going to the gymnastics trials with someone who I didn't talk to for the better part of two or three years because they hurt me and I hurt them. It is my ability to forgive that allows me to move forward. It is my ability to forgive the nonsense that happens in community, the nonsense that happens in the social justice space, the nonsense that happens in the opera industry the nonsense that happens in the workplace, the nonsense that happens in the lesson room is my ability to forgive the things that have hurt me that allows me to continue to grow. And I believe in this moment, as I'm talking about it, is one of the things that attracts people to me. I'm not going to hold it. I'll hold it for a little while, but not a long while. Because at the end of the day, I wasn't ready to hear their message to me and their reflection of me. And they weren't ready to hear my reflection of them. Right? Forgiveness. It's a practice. Let's move on. To the Melody Beattie. To the Melody Beattie. Melody Beattie. Melody Beattie. I feel like that could be like a... Melody Beatty. Melody Beatty. Anyway, okay, okay. Melody Beatty. 50 weeks of contact. Those of you that have never been here before, we read this every day uh, in Love and Action Network. It's very connected to the 12 step program, but we do use the themes to anchor discussion in Love and Action Network, which this week the theme is passion. I'm not as gifted in that front as Poppy Wata, okay? We need Poppy Wata to write us a rap about the Melody Beatty. Um, Oh, we're waking up. Oh my God. Okay. Anywho, um, so we read this daily. Today is day four. Scroll back once I get them posted on the Substack and the podcast uh, to find out what we're all about this week. Uh, and Dr. Flo will be introducing next week's theme on Saturday. Uh-oh. Friends? We're going to read fast. Day four. I'm all panicked. I don't know what to do next, a friend explained. I've been praying all night. Oh, I forgot to say, we're a BYOB uh, organization, so you don't have to believe in God, but God is coming up in this text. Oh, wait, this is last week's. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. And let me get this child. Hang on. Time out.
we pause for the babies. Okay, here we go. Day quattro. What are you doing? Okay, <laughs> the week I went scuba diving, a man told me. Hadn't done it for years. I forgot how much doing something I love, even for one afternoon, can change my entire outlook on life. It's easy to tell ourselves we can't have what we want and can't do what we want. And sometimes we can't. But once in a while, even for an afternoon, it is helpful to treat yourself. Inventory focus. How long has it been since you did something you loved? Are you willing to be open to what excites and expi inspires you? Expires you, not expires you, inspires you. Uh, if you can't do what you love, can you find passion in what you are doing? I'll read those inventory focus questions one more time. These are good for you to sit with. Ouch, baby. How long has it been since you did something you loved? Are you willing to be open to what excites you and inspires you? If you can't do what you love, can you find passion in what you are doing? Can you find passion in what you are doing? Can you find passion in what you are doing? Yeah, you are loved and you are lovable. Yes, yes. Hello, Duke. We're not singing today. We're running the Daily Boost program, but I'm happy you're here. How are you? How are you? Okay, let's wrap it up because we got a baby that I think wants to eat again. Who's Yes, wants to eat. Okay, so continue to be anti-racist. Be safe. Wear a mask. Make good trouble. Do good work. I love y'all hardcore. You are loved and lovable. Nobody can change that. Even your damn self, child. Even your damn self cannot change that. Dr. Flo is taking over the rest of the week. I will be back next week sometime. Uh, so enjoy. Peace out. And make it a memory. Goodbye.